Hi, it's Anthony here. Thanks for tuning in to my live feed. Um, I want to talk about why you are suffering. Yes, I have got the temerity to think that I can tell you why you are suffering. You're not going to like it, but you know what they say, the truth will set you free and this is going to help you. So the reason why you're suffering is because you've got more freedom than you know how to handle. If you were a giraffe or an elephant, you would have no thought in your head that you should be something different, like a tiger or a gazelle or a tree, right? But because for you as a human being, you know, God has drawn you a bottom line of the amount of potential that you can reach, but no top line. You can, you can, there's always something more you can be doing. There's always something more you can know. You could have a more healthy body. You could uh, learn something or learn to use your mind better. You could learn the piano. You could take up a new skill. There is no top line drawn. And because of that, you're always thinking you should be something other than what you are. So, and that creates a lot of suffering. That's not to say that you shouldn't strive to be more than you are, because it's a wonderful thing that no top line has been drawn. But um, what you need to do is get your life right. You need, to, you, need to, you need to take stock and have a little bit of a look at what's going on and look at the main areas that are creating suffering for you first, right? Your life is a garden. And if you want a beautiful garden, you have to uh, take out the trash and pull up the weeds. That is the most important work. And that's not the fun work. But once you do that, then the fun work begins, which is planting flowers. And when you start planting those flowers, you get nothing for like a whole year or a couple of years. If you plant an apple tree, it might not give you apples for four years. So you need to have some determination and you have to have a long-term view. You need to develop patience. And what we're really suffering from, myself included, although I've become and am becoming more patient all the time, is our lack of patience. <clears throat> we want to do everything now. We want everything to be fixed now. Well, life doesn't work that way. Everything in nature takes time to grow. If you want apples, and apples being a metaphor for whatever it is you want out of your life, you really should not be thinking too much about apples once you've identified what you want. You should be thinking about soil, fertilizer, water, putting a little cane beside the tree so it doesn't get blown over by the wind, limiting environmental toxins. That might mean, you know, getting out of the house around good people and uh, limiting your exposure to, to toxic people and negative information through your addiction to, to, to bad news, which then ruminates in your mind. Limit your exposure to environmental toxins and start focusing on the things that you have to do if you want apples, if you want apples to grow. So if you want to identify what it is you want and then start working on the things that you need to do to make those things a reality for you in your life. That's where your attention should be. Just the next step. You can't be anywhere other than where you are. No one's ever managed to do it. You know, these yogis say, live in the present moment. No one's ever managed to not live in the present moment. Where else would you live? The key is to bring your attention into the present moment and focus on what you can do instead of focusing on who you'd like to be. Yeah, it's good to identify that. But if you were climbing up a mountain, you wouldn't spend the whole time looking at the top of the mountain now, would you? Because you trip over and fall. You have to look up your next steps. So if you really want to take this seriously, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a pad and paper and write out the 12 things that are causing you the most suffering in life or that are the areas of the most dissatisfaction, right? Now, 
<clears throat> it might be that some of these things you can't do anything about. That's fine, write them out anyway. If you can't do anything about it, you know, nothing's going to happen, okay? What you can't do anything about, you can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, but I'm sure that a lot of these things you can do something about. So tick those ones that you can and then write a new list and put them in order of the one that's causing you the most misery. And then grab that first one and make it your focus over the next month to improve your life in that area. Okay? One month. You've got to be patient. You can't change everything at once. But I promise you, if you change one thing, that will give you so much more faith in yourself and your ability to change your life for the better. And you might get faster at doing these things as you go on. So one item, one month. At the end of that month, you can decide if you want to continue or work on something else or add something. You could continue working in that one area and you can add the second thing on your list. You might, your list might have changed by then. So that's my advice for you starting to get your life right. You've only got one life, okay? So it's really, really important that you start looking at how to get it right now and not sooner rather than later. Don't wait another year, okay? You don't have to do everything. You just need to do one thing. And don't tell me you don't have time because you do. Even if you start flossing your teeth, right? You've got to, everyone's got time to floss their teeth. You might think you don't, but you do. You can do it while you're watching TV or a podcast or whatever you like to do. Do little things for yourself. Because just doing little things are symbolic of, of self-love. And whenever you do something little for yourself, like floss your teeth or go to the gym or whatever it is, you're affirming to yourself that you love yourself. Stop trying to love yourself. Just act. Do things that would be like loving yourself. Now, I am going to strongly recommend that you book me as a counsellor or a therapist. I'm very good at what I do and I will get you on the motorway to getting your life to, uh, to a better place. Um, so if that's something you'd be interested in, you can either contact me on Facebook, Anthony Samaroff, or you can send me an email at anthony at beyourselfandloveit.com. So I think you should get in touch with me if you would like to take your life to the next level because I really will help you get these things done quicker. And, you know, if money's a concern, look, you can always earn more money, but time is the one resource that's absolutely not renewable. So if I can give you some shortcuts and keep you on the right track, then I think that'll be very helpful to you. So that's my uh, own trumpet blowing, whistling. Look, if there was a million people that I knew that were really uh, um, into this and like really fantastic, I'd have no hesitation um, recommending you to them. And for certain things, I do know people who are very, very talented. But with this stuff, I've been working on myself for, well, 31 years. <laughs> and uh, I've definitely tried a lot of things that didn't work and I found a lot of things that did work and I would love, love, love to help you get on the motorway to being yourself and love it. Thanks for tuning into my live stream and I'll see you on the next one. Leave me comments.